I'm gonna switch over to the Frank Miller Batman. I'm the goddamn Batman! Okay. <clears throat> no, 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 I can't do that either. Okay. Um, let's, we'll, we'll work on this. We'll work on this. Checking for DLC. I don't have any of that. I don't have any of that shit. I've never played this game. Maybe I do have it, I don't know. Always been a big fan of Batman, so get the full experience. Not now. Who does that? Subtitles on. It's fine. Okay. Connecting to a server. access to uh, episode one. I time fan but just like I've always enjoyed his appearances in any kind of animated series or any kind of Justice League movie just got some Batman shirts love the uh, Christopher Nolan trilogy I'm going to try to act in character for Batman as he's usually played by uh, it's like the Justice League Batman, the like the Kevin Conroy Batman, who, by the way, is the definitive voice of Batman. But I cannot come close, hope to come close to acting like Kevin Conroy. Hey, what are you? Oh. Okay. I've never played a Telltale game, period, so this is also a first for that. Get it open. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? He'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused! We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. So you think. They all say, huh? Commissioner Gordon. Oh, Christ. Move in. I wonder who my favorite Commissioner Gordon is. I guess Gary Oldman. I did enjoy Brian Cranston's brief role, though. Back! Get back! Second floor. I'm going in. Hey! Wait! Wait for backup! Don't need it. Take the stairs. I heard stories, you know. Sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Oh, 
reaction time based. This is going to create problems. Well, this isn't, but I know there's going to be some. Keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed. The city is safer now. It's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. Yeah, well, that's the point. Let them come. <laughs> Shit! Go. So this is whatever got in. Don't make it like out. the uh, the Dark Knight Rises, Nightfall sort of theme of Batman. His struggle, his sacrifice. Very classic. But he'll never quit being the Bat, no matter what happens. What was that? Adios. Back to back, circle up. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> both at the same time or in succession. Not quite sure of those double inputs. You to knock. No. Behind you, big boy. Heyday.
You're under arrest! I'm not under arrest. I'm the goddamn Batman. If you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Hey, Laura Bailey. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. No response. Huh. So brooding. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Alright, here we go. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. I go to all that trouble for this. Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. Oh. God damn it! I said don't shoot! Damn. No! Wait! This is a step above the DC stuff. The Justice League cartoon. I mean. What do I. Oh, uh, I guess that was auto.
I was half expecting them just to be gone after that train pass. Ugh. Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Give up! There's no way out! <laughs> Give me some credit. Bye, Bat. <laughs> Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Welcome to Gotham. Trophy earned. That was a pretty uh, intense Thank you. Opening. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. You got Together, my vote, Mr. Dent. We can stamp out the fire and save our great city. <laughs> if only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. I re... I, uh... <laughs> Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. I withdraw my, my apologies payment. apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> well, Harvey Dent Where was jacked you? in this. I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Relax. It was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What? A chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? Say it ain't so. It's called playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. Some champagne. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. Where the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. A new How face about, uh... for Gotham. A new face for Gotham. Yeah. Look at you. It's not half bad. Not half I'm gonna bad. Use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Man, Harvey is so jacked. I mean, Bruce Wayne's supposed to be big. But Harvey is fucking huge. Oz? Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. 
I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Well, oh, he's uh, now, not Bob? afraid to speak his I'm mind. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. What did oh, you say? Sorry. Regarding golden age, it seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny how he has to fix this How dare you fucking say city. that? I don't doubt that for a moment. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. I think I played it okay. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. I don't know if they like the uh, idealist stuff. I'm not very good at getting inside the head of somebody with that kind of money, I guess. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> I feel like Bruce Wayne going around has a weak spot everyone for the tonight. ladies, so... But He's How not are going you to doing? just tell her no. You should enjoy your own party. Before all the champagne runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... Is that blood? Yeah. It looks like... Uh, actually, it's, uh, it's lipstick. Well, no wonder you were late. Say no more. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. 
My goodness, we've got all kinds of characters here. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. Oh, shit. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Maybe you can change your mind. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. Oh, man. How you know, I've been in the market this? for a new house. How would Bruce Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. It can't be too much like Batman right now. I think I'll take it. But he can't just be like, hey. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. Oh, God. Oh, no. You're a respectable man, I hear. Fuck. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy who's gonna sell me his house. Fuck. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. All right, I'm gonna play hardball with this guy. Fuck him. He's uh, a you bad should guy. know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At... Hey, what's private audience? Oh, come on, guys. Bruce, you'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink. Have a talk. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... I, I, what did I say? Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law. And there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much. Chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. My... Lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. I'm not gonna let you just have that power. Yeah, you do. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move, and I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. 
The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. No. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Yeah, you think. about that I don't give you a lot of time to uh, ruminate on these choices very uh, stream of consciousness <clears throat> it's me She was really after him. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the break-in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians? And in Thomas other and Martha Wayne, the classic story. Joe Chill to see. have given up trying to combat the blaze at the Otisburg Processing Center, owned by Ace Chemical. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever's burning in there has resisted everything. Alfred will never be a bad guy. If Alfred is ever a bad guy, it's not a medium that's true to Batman. And one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. The body of Falcone family capo Louis Pistachio Garmone was found hanging off the side of the Fourth Street Bridge <laughs> sometime well, just before dawn, causing traffic to back up. We can for tell as the, cops the way he acted down. around Falcone. He was he was pretty scared. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded Skyrail cars to contend with. Gotham police are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been admitted to... <laughs> Why do you wish you knew more about her, Batman? Condition. The police don't have any suspects Weakness. at the time. Can deal with, can deal with grizzled thugs all day, but... Two have gone missing from Arkham Asylum. Uh, Femme Fatale. Bad news. Bad news. To 15 this year. Penguin. That's what but Penguin looks like in this? Highlight the rough, some would say inhumane conditions at the aging asylum. The latest, 44-year-old twin brother and sister Leon and Valerie Muldoon, should be considered dangerous if found. Authorities are asking that you oh. not approach and call I've always seen him depicted as an old man. Mayor Hill's 
first Gotham Beautiful Act takes effect today, making it possible for landlords to evict tenants immediately and without cause. The new law was created in order to allow Gotham City's biggest property owners greater ability to modify and improve Mr. the Gordon. city's aging buildings. Always some of which dependable. Have been occupied by families for decades. So if you come home from work tonight and find all your stuff on the street, don't worry. It probably isn't anything you did wrong. And if you can believe it, now I don't know you much about her. She's been in previous stuff. More on this after the break. And I know him. Ariel says he's tough on crime, but since his election, violence in Gotham has skyrocketed. And when he was presented with legislation that would have dismantled organized crime in the city, he vetoed it, killing Gotham's chance for a safer future. Yeah. That's because the rumors of Hill's connections to some of Gotham's most notorious Mafia families are true. We don't need another gangster running the city. We need a crime-fighting hero. With over 200 successful convictions, District Attorney Harvey Dent just might be the hero. Nearly fell off a building for this? Analyze the data at the back computer. Take a quick look at this. Uh, this is probably all flavor. I'll give it just a quick look. Newest addition. You can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. Well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. Spare grapple. Can't believe I let her take that. I should see if I can refine the edge. Could be sharper. Where's that back computer? Right here? To 15 this year. Only three have been gone to date. But all the escapees highlight the rough, some would say inhumane conditions at the aging asylum. The latest, 44-year-old twin brother and sister Leon and Valerie right. Muldoon, should be considered nope. dangerous if found. Right. Authorities are asking that you do not approach and call police immediately. Mayor Hill's Gotham Beautiful Act takes effect today. Holographic lenses, voice modulation. Wayne Enterprises really outdid themselves with this version. To allow Gotham City's biggest property owners greater ability to modify and improve the city's aging buildings, some of which have been occupied by families for decades. Yeah. All right, let's see what's in this. Let's find out what was so important. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'll leave as soon as I finish. People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, 
This is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. Yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. Uh, though not unappreciated. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. That's Back when thought. it still had one? <laughs> it can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully she's just a tourist. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Uh, whenever Harvey calls. The guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted, then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I have a job to do, okay? A responsibility to this city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. Well, the car helps. Oh, yes, you drive that thing like a bat out of hell. <laughs> <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. Oh, I wonder... But I know you can't abandon a good hmm. mystery until it's solved. I if I'll is... be careful, Alfred. When you see like what's become of his park, I think you will. Like this is a younger Cobblepot. Like an heir. I... 
Damn. I don't know enough about Batman, I see, I guess. I just always remember Cobblepot being only an old man. <coughs> nice place. Where are you, Oz? I wonder if I should be looking around for story clues or something. Um, Pretty some change. Uh, thank you, sir. You, but no Oz. Let's take a look. Shopping cart here. We got why another shopping cart over there, of course. to be. <laughs> the damn youth of today. I don't even know what is. Why can't they all just live in their mansions and be good people? Well, no, that's not Bruce Wayne. That's it's just me being stupid. And I want to talk to this ruffian with the pink mohawk like a fist of the North Star villain. Yeah, no. Let's look at the statue. Watch Wallet Cash. But uh. this goes through you. And you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I've got nothing. And him! Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. <laughs> and you're in the moment! Come here! You think that'll do? <laughs> Stay down! Used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Oh. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? Death is not okay. Brain damage. <laughs> Encouraged. Oh. Hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh. Eh. Yeah. Good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades? 
And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mum and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round-the-world vacations, unlimited potential. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Balcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home! That oily... Oh. Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. <laughs> All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door, and I'm here to let it in. That's that's always a uh, good talk. That, Which brings me to you, good Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're going to smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? <coughs> I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. What is this? It's Good seeing you, Bruce, but... I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Oh, goodness. Plot thickens. <laughs> oh, cobble pot. I wonder if, whenever it says they will remember that, that can be both good or bad, can it? Uh, I wonder if that's just always bad or, I feel like it's both. Cause I've answered good, like I've answered like nice answers to some of these and it says they'll remember that. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Just walk by him. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> no, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. 
Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And the rate of death and suicide inside the asylum itself is truly terrifying. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Oh, Arkham man. Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? I gotta keep this really short. For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible, but inside, they're suffering. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and Let's defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Let us honor their memory with this new facility in the hope that a night like that never happens again today on the anniversary of that fateful night we dedicate this facility to thomas and martha wayne and usher in a new era of healing for gotham i'm uh sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital so let's open it up you first miss vale Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I say we leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better. Uh, this time we won't fail those who need us most. I guess All right, okay. who's up next? Oh, Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. Uh. Well, I think Mr. Falcone is a voter just like anyone else in this city. He came to learn about Harvey Dent, your next mayor. Next question. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas what? Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? No. I don't comment on rumors. Why don't we just stick to real journalism here? Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! Is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? All right, this press conference is over. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Oh. My goodness. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I'm sorry, are you arresting me? Not unless I'm forced to. We're only collecting evidence today. I didn't do anything. That's what we're here to find out. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Need to be the guy doing your taxes. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long the as he's mayor. mayor, he calls the shots. <laughs> okay, so you just do whatever Mayor Hill says. Uh... Hill and I, we have a vested interest to keep things professional. For Gotham's sake. Doesn't mean I like the words whistling through his windpipes. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows Tony. if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. I just pray I've hidden it well enough. get those tickets did he just grab them <laughs> while he was there Bruce I, I didn't mean to interrupt but this is the second time you've shown up uninvited well it's difficult to book a meeting with you well I enjoy my privacy enjoyed Past tense. Sorry, but if the press has their way, you're not gonna have any for a while. Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. Okay. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. 
Okay, I trust you, Phil. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had and never will have connections to organized crime. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Well, we're being honest in that regard. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family... We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents... It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Good point. Good point. Whew. All right, all right. So we've got Harvey being weird. Probably Warrant? sucking off Falcone. What the hell's going on? We got Falcone, Wait, Mayor Wait, does this have Hill. to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another off, scene, shall we? Whatever he's up to. The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah. Then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. Okay, I, I believe you, I Harvey. don't believe him, but Mary Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? Do you think Falcone could be behind it? He didn't seem too thrilled after the fundraiser. Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. Whatever. You should probably distance yourself from me. What? No, no, I can't do that. Well, you may have to. Don't say that. You... There you are. Hey, you. Sorry, I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. Black eye, black hair. Uh-oh. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Harvey never mentioned you before. Oh, really? That's interesting. What was your name again? It's Selena. Selena Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. I'd take that ride. Meet anyone interesting? Not really. Uh, they haven't uh, all been as welcoming as Harv. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. Look at all this double talk. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. Maybe it's time to find a new job. I don't need career advice from you, Mr. Wayne. 
Not all of us were born with trust funds and multi-billion dollar corporations. Hey, hey, go easy on Bruce. It's not his fault he was born rich and good-looking. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. For the one-on-one. -on -one. Hey, it's Harvey. This isn't awkward. So. Leather. I see we both like it a lot. Nice to meet the real you. You too. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. Uh, I didn't think she would buy the good guy act, but I guess I should have went with that. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. That's not money. Why do you want this that? This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working for... They don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Oh, shit. of course. Well, it looks like you've made your bed. Uh, no, we've it to someone. made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. Well, if you insist. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact, he'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? 15 minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Hey. Screw it up. I'll try not to. I think that's an auto save. So next time, we will resume there. That was an interesting first episode full of political intrigue all around. I had to make a lot of hard choices with the conversations. But, uh... 
I don't think I've done anything horribly out of character for Batman yet. But, you know, in Gotham, the night is always young. So next time, we will try to unravel this mystery and help our new found, un completely 100% untrustworthy friend, Selena Kyle, aka Catwoman. Until next time, see ya.